Hey everybody, welcome on in. It's just one week until Jackbox Party Pack 8 officially launches, but Jackbox Games was amazing enough to give us a copy of Jackbox Party Pack 8 early, so we have been playing that. And today I want to go over my ranking for all five games in this pack and put them in order. Now I do want to say that this pack is full of amazing games. I think this is the first pack where every single game is streamable and every single game is extremely strong. But we're still going to put them in order here today. So before we get into that though. I want to give a special shout out to the one king boo thank you so much you have earned a copy of jackbox party pack 7 so thank you alrighty but let's get into the meat of the video here I'm gonna put all five games in to a order there are uh, the games are uh, Drawful Animate, Job Job, Pole Mine, Weapons Drawn, and Wheel of Enormous Proportions. Those are the five games. I do want to say they are all amazing and uh, yeah, so good. But here we go. For number five, I'm going to put the game Weapons Drawn in at number five. Now, number five, just because it sits at number five doesn't make it a bad game. In fact, like I said, every game in this pack is amazing. The way Weapons Drawn works is you and the other players are all uh, looking for murders, but also committing murders at the same time. In order to do this, you uh, draw your initial character. Inside your drawing somewhere is a letter that is hidden. And then you draw your murder weapons, and inside those murder weapons is that same letter somewhere hidden in the drawing. And players have to figure out which murder weapon corresponds to which player by finding a little clues in the in the murder weapon and matching them to that player. Now, the reason this game gets number five is it is, first of all, an extremely long game. This might be the longest Jackbox game, I think, to have released in a pack in a long time. The games usually take upwards of an hour, and uh, so that is, it, it's tough when you have people wanting to play and getting in, but then they have to sit around for an hour. Um, so that's a strike against it. And also, similar to uh, Push the Button, it's just, uh, it's really hard. It's hard to figure out who the murderers are. People are really good at covering their tracks. And when you're not in the same room and able to quickly talk to people, uh, and you're just typing online, it's a lot more difficult to come to your conclusions. So that is why I'm giving weapons drawn the number five spot here. Um, but that's not to say it's not good. It is very good, just like all the games in this pack, but it's going to slide in at number five. All right, coming in at number four, we've got, and this is going to be a controversial pick. I know it's Drawful Animate coming in at number four. Now, Drawful Animate works practically exactly the same as Drawful 2. It uh, gives you a prompt and then you draw your answer. Uh, and then players make uh, lies to try to trick other players into thinking that they wrote the correct prompt uh, so they get points. Now, the difference for Drawful Animate is instead of just drawing one picture, you draw two and it animates them. It swaps back and forth and you see an animation. Um, so that's the big difference. And that is in fact why it is so low on this list. I just, I don't think there's enough um, of the animate there. Yes, you do animate both your profile picture and your drawing, but the prompts don't really speak to animation. There's no extra little animating twist there that happens. It plays exactly like a drawful game except that the drawings move, they, they animate. So that is why it goes a little low here on this list. It just, I don't think does enough 
to really make its uh, case for being an animated game. But like I said, it is such a good game. It is very good. But the other games, the other three are just, they are so, uh, they're just a little bit up there. They're all the games are so good, but yep. Drawful animate coming in at number four at number three on this list. I am going to be putting in the uh, Wheel of Enormous Proportions here. Wheel of Enormous Proportions is the trivia game for this pack. Now, I love trivia. We are huge fans of You Don't Know Jack and especially Trivia Murder Party 2 on this channel. Just love trivia. It's so fun to get in there and uh, have yourself uh, a, a fun time answering trivia and doing little mini games. And this game, uh, The Wheel of Enormous Proportions, does a great job in that respect. You, uh, you all start the game and you answer three questions. Usually it gives you things you have to match or it tells you like a list of a bunch of things and you have to select each one that works. Uh, after you've answered three questions, the round is over and you go into a wheel spinning uh, round where the players that did really good get to place a bunch of um, things all around the wheel and then every other player gets to place their little sections of the wheel. The players spin the wheel and whoever it lands on gets points. Now there is a few uh, additional little uh, slices in there like a power slice or an audience slice or like a, like a split slice that give points in different ways and change the game up. But here is where the problem lies in this game. It's very random. You could be extremely good at the trivia and just get consistently bad spins and everyone else could rocket past you while you're sitting there doing your best. Um, so it could be frustrating to people that really like trivia, but also it can be really, it can make you feel really good if you're maybe not the best at trivia. It can give you a lot of points and make you feel good just for playing. Um, so it does do a good job there, but uh, it is falling at number three on the list for that reason. And one more thing I didn't mention, it gives you at the beginning, it has everybody ask a question. And then at the very end, the winner spins the wheel one last time and it lands on a random answer to your question, which is always fun to see. Really, really cute stuff that comes out of that. So I really like that, but Drawful, or sorry, not Drawful, uh, Wheel of Enormous Proportions is gonna fall in the middle of this list at number three now for number two i'm gonna pick the new game pole mine now i really like pole mine it's like a brand new gaspionage honestly if it was just me i would probably put this at number one but uh i i i agree that there is a, a very strong game up there at number one. So out of uh, honesty here, I'm gonna be putting Pole Mine at two, but I still really like Pole Mine. The way Pole Mine works is all of the players start on, uh, uh, everybody uh, joins up and then you start on different teams. You can make unbalanced teams, you can make very balanced teams, but the cool thing about it is there's not really an advantage to being on a bigger team versus a smaller team. In fact, if you're on a bigger team, you kind of have a lot more voices in your ear that are kind of telling you where to go. Um, so the way the game works is you, you join teams and then you answer polls. So it'll ask you like, what do you think is a hot dog? Or what's the best condiment? Or uh, what goes best on a waffle? Things like that. You answer those polls and then the game tasks you with finding one through three, two through four, and in the final round, you need to find the least likely, so eight, and then climb all the way up to number one. I really like Pole Mine, especially because it has the streamer version, which allows you to have a team of eight go up against a team of un, like 10,000, is that what it said? But basically, Pole Mine is great because every single person gets to participate. They all get to have their chance to play, and that is a huge thing for me as a streamer. So, Pole Mine getting number two. 
So that just leaves us with number one. And obviously that game is Job Job. Job Job is the most exciting brand new game that is uh, uh, on this pack in my opinion. It is the most funny, it has the most ludicrous and insane outcomes. The way Job Job works is all the players that join in need to answer uh, job questionnaires. So it'll ask you like what your biggest strengths are. It'll ask you what you would do in a high stress situation it would ask you what you would do if becky is hogging the water cooler and then you answer but the twist is after you've answered other players get to take your answer and drag and drop your words along with words of other players and even they can take words from the question itself they drag them they drop them they make a new sentence and then those sentences go out and we get to see what happens and it is always insane there's so many funny uh moments with this game so job job for me has to be the number one game on this pack. It is just too good. Um, but yeah, those are all five games ranked there. Uh, let me know what you think. Did I do any of these games dirty? Do you think that uh, I was right in my predictions? Have you played Jackbox Party Pack 8 yet? Uh, let me know. Are you excited for uh, the 14th? October 14th is when the Party Pack 8 officially releases. So let me know. And um, yeah, as always, we have a giveaway for this month. It's going to be a copy of Jackbox Party Pack 8. So if you want to uh, get in on that giveaway all you have to do is uh put a uh, uh post down here in the chat put leave a comment let me know what you think about my list let me know if i'm right let me know if i'm wrong and at the same time you're going to be added in to the giveaway all you got to do is comment but yeah that is going to do it for the video today thank you all so much if you want to play some Jackbox Party Pack 8, we're playing it every single day exclusively until it releases over on twitch.tv slash working cacenter. Uh, so go on over there. I'm live every day at 5 p.m. U.S. Central Standard Time. And uh, we can play some Party Pack 8 together. But anyway, y'all, I hope you have a phenomenal rest of your day. I'll catch you next time. Later.